elephant in the room right now. Back to back food episodes. Everyone's concerned. Is the food good? Is the diet good for the boys? I went four for four this week in my workout, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you think about the short sleeve button then? <sighs> Tis the season. Tis the, Tis the season. season. Man, that's a horny fit for you. Episode four coming right now. What do you gotta say, Ricky? Like I said, elephant in the room, back-to-back -back food episodes. I think it's what the people want. Don't worry about it, it's the, it's the iceberg effect, right? Everyone sees what we're doing on camera. What are we doing off camera? Definitely working out, getting our cardio in. Um, you know, there's a lot that goes into this body. We gotta maintain it, right? Yeah, you, and let's address the elephant in the room, like you said on the yeah. way up. You've been four for four in the gym this week, correct? Yeah, I have been four for four. I got legs right in the middle of the week. It was, uh, what's today, Thursday? So yeah. I got it yesterday. Test couldn't be higher. And how much are you deadlifting right now? Deadlifting, I am going for reps. That's what everyone says. When they <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone says when they are, uh, you know, talk about but about their max and stuff. But look, I'm in it for the test. I'm in it for longevity. I'm hitting like uh, 275 for 10. Okay. And what yeah. would you say to that young gun in South End? Sure. That is scared to shoot a shot with the girl that he really likes. Buddy, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Charlotte's number one on Zillow. Come at us if you want a house in Charlotte. Um, but bro, you gotta shoot pucks on that, dude. That's the only way they're going in. And if you want to get a rebound goal, the, the puck's got to be on net. That's what we always say. Yeah, absolutely. Also, you can also dump and chase with the boys sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, just Bash know. the boards. Yeah, you know, and like, look, just know what kind of player you are. You know, like, <laughs> what position you play. Are you left winger, right winger? Are you center? Are you a two-way defenseman? Like, know your game, right? Good cop, bad cop. Are you the intro guy? I mean, dude, we can go we can go all day with this stuff. But um, know, your, know your role. That's what I'll say. Episode four, we are doing breakfast for dinner tonight. Me and Ricky, as you can see, the boys both got the SSPDs down and um, we're fired up. We're so fired up. I even made a little pot of coffee so that we're dialed throughout the pod. Um, yeah, yeah, we're ready to rip, man. Um, look, we're making pancakes, a little Hungry Jack. We do got the blueberries, we got the chocolate chips. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna mix it up for you guys and uh, yeah, man, we're, we're pumped. Um, we even got crispy bacon, too. Davey's on bacon duty. We're gonna have Rick kind of on pancake duty. I'm gonna get some flips in, too, but. Yeah, absolutely. Now look, pancakes, they're amazing. Um, I just found this out. Um, pancakes, who do you think invented the pancake? I don't know, I'm not sure. I know you did some research before we started the episode. I just thought we owed it to our audience. Pancakes were invented in Greece, and it dates back as far as 600 BC, so which is nutty. Should we give Johnny Pappas, a guy from Greece, a shout out right now? He's one can. of the most loyal viewers. Shout out to yeah, you, Johnny. Johnny, thanks for viewing in, man. Um, real quick, fuck one, marry one, kill one, pancake, French toast, waffle. Oh, <laughs> shit. Big curveball. Oh my God. Um, and don't just I'm say fucking it. killing, I'm, I'm killing. I already got my mind made up. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna kill the... Uh, the French toast that might right. shock a lot of people. Okay, okay. I am going to marry the pancake okay. and fuck the waffle. Yeah, I think that's my my answer too. I mean, I don't need enough French toast. French toast slaps when you want it, but we're loyal to the cakes, man. We're loyal to uh, to the pancakes, so we're gonna go ahead and get things started. Um, so stay tuned. Absolutely. Original Biswick. Uh, it is calling for two cups baking mix, one cup milk, two cups egg. So we're gonna throw it in the bowl right now. I already measured it out. This is the two cups. Pro tip for you too. Um, Dave, you're gonna wanna show them this. Baking soda and baking powder. If you ever make pancakes from scratch, um, this stuff's super important because it's gonna add fluffiness to your pancakes. So you really don't need much. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. I'm not gonna give you guys a measurement. You measure it with your heart. So, all right. Dry ingredients is mixed pretty well. I've done a good job of 
trying to get all those <clears throat> balls, I guess you want to call it, the clumped up <laughs> dry ingredients. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and add the eggs again. Two eggs here. Boom, right in. Okay, throw that in the sink. That's what everyone does. Then you kind of leave it, leave it for later. Okay, boom. <clears throat> and uh, we aren't using just regular milk. We're using oat milk because we're fancy. Here's what I'll say about that. Whatever you have laying around, use it. I mean, is it gonna make or break the pancake? No, but like I said, that's what they've had in the fridge. Very that good. goes right into the batter. Very good, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we mix it away. You can tell this is not my first time. You know, I think you were a little bit concerned about how much milk I put <laughs> in, but you know what, it's actually gonna be pretty perfect, okay? If you ever question, my ability to make pancakes again. And what you gotta do, this is very important right here. All right, you see the setup that get the pan in? Zoom in? You see this tray right here? This prevents the bacon from getting soggy and all that bullshit. It actually helps it quite a bit, just crisp it up. So that's really what we need to do. And what you're gonna do is you wanna grab the bacon like a man, like I am right now. You don't wanna be <clears throat> take right here, how it's going like that. I'm just stripping it onto the tray. That one was a double one, so I'm gonna have to unpeel it. I'm professional for the camera. You're ordering bacon at a restaurant. Is there a specific way you like to order Extra it? Crispy. <laughs> Extra crispy. Extra <laughs> crispy. All right, prep work's done. Batter's ready to rip. Get the butter. And look, here's what I will say. Like, <clears throat> know your environment, right? The stance you wanna have is you wanna have a pretty wide stance. You wanna be able to move around in the kitchen, go get something. I'm ready to check on the bacon at any time. So look, stance is very important. And what I want you to do, Dave, is zoom in on the batter. You wanna listen to this, ready? If it doesn't sound like that, you don't want it, right? That's what the batter should look like. Very common mistake is people will <clears throat> They'll throw their cakes on um, when the griddle's not even hot. So see the butter like that? Just, 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 just kind of just get all the surface here, right? And again, know your griddle too. Know your surface. Um, this is probably going to fit anywhere from three to four cakes on. <clears throat> I would not recommend that if you're not an advanced pancake guy. I'll probably stick to one or two. Again, depending on your audience, you want to make it a show, a production. Um, I like to think. I'm uh, not intermediate, somewhere between intermediate and advanced. When you throw the cake on, ready? So watch this. Okay, see how that, I'm already ready with that. Okay, and boom. That's probably all I need for that one. Okay, okay, moving on. All right, don't have to be perfect, right? But like I said, probably gonna put three on these, on this griddle. Alright, and I know people are a little bit concerned about that one in the corner, don't be, Definitely don't be. <laughs> See what the All guys right. got. Yep, so boom, I'm set up, and so right around this time, again, it's still to your audience, what I'm basically doing is I'm saying, hey, who wants what in their pancakes, right? You're addressing your audience, people want chocolate chips, people want blueberries, some people want them plain. We'll give you all three. I'm gonna go plain, chocolate chip, blueberry, alright? Blueberries just got washed, okay? So again, depending on the thickness of your pancake, thin versus thick, these are probably more on the thin side. <clears throat> Go ahead and get your pancake set up. And um, here's what a lot of people don't do either, is you wanna push them down, right? Because if they're just up like that, when you flip it, it's gonna affect the flip. Um, the blueberries might get a little burnt, so push them down as much as you can. And uh, look, I mean, I'm not trying to win an award here for aesthetics, but I'd say it's pretty damn good. That's how you do the chocolate chips. By the way, I got dark chocolate chips. Get whatever you want, but everyone knows that dark chocolate chips slap a little bit harder. You want a hefty amount in your hand because everyone knows you have a little left over. You just eat them, okay? Now, again, I'm purposely doing this. You're kind of darting it in there. Right I'm now. purposely doing this so that you know you got to push them down, right? Because again, 
you don't want to flip it and it gets all fucked up, fucks up the griddle. Push them down. I like a lot of chocolate chips. That corner and then one more for good measure. And then Dave, I got about six left over. Okay, I mean, come on. All right, there's pancake one. Pancake two. Nice little crisp. Oh! <laughs> Pancake three. See how I recovered though? Again, it's all about how you recover. And right now, I'd be getting a little cocky, you know, because again, bags are packed. These things are ready to be sent home. I'm eating blueberries. I'm laughing with people. I'm probably checking on the bacon. Who's playing tonight? I'm looking at the scores. I'm feeling good, right? My three cakes are about 30 seconds to 40 seconds away. I'm going to plate them up, and then Dave's going to show you how he does his thing. All right, Davey Wavy on the pancake flips right now. What I will say is the first thing you want to do is wipe this shit down. Wipe this shit down, clean it off. Don't burn yourself either. I'm a little... Three. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Wow. You can see the batter's a little thicker on those yeah. ones. I think it's like one of those things where it's like people trying to open a pickle jar, someone started it, and then you kind of... Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then we're just gonna put a little guy right there. You wow. know what I mean? But this is a classic case of home field advantage too. You've been around this grid a little bit Absolutely. more, but you know. Absolutely. And so what we're gonna do for the Zoo Animals podcast is put a little Z right here. Wow. And this is blueberries, folks. And I don't do plain pancakes, by the way, so nobody's getting a plain pancake. He likes a nice thick pancake because Davey's the thick boy. If that doesn't get you to subscribe, I don't know what will. Subscribe to Zoo Animals Podcast. We are coming back when I'm ready to flip, baby. Let's go. All right, Zoo Animals Podcast. It is almost flip time. Something that Ricky knows, I can't believe he didn't bring it up to you guys, is before you flip, you always got to grab the spatula and give it like a nice little hockey flex like that. You know what I mean? Just like you do with your stick before you play like knee hockey or something like that. Just give it a little flex. You want it to, Rick, get these in right here. Looking good. You want to see, you'll notice mine are fluffier than Rick's because we had it better. But you also do want to look at the bubbles formulating and you want to feel it out. You want to touch these things and feel, would this be ready for a confident flip? And right now I'm thinking, Fuck it, I'm ready to do it. You want to go under there? Confident. Boom. And that's just home field advantage. Boom, right home there. field advantage. Yeah. Confident. Boom. Let me get a different angle for the last one here. This last one, home field advantage. The burner on this side, it's a little bit weaker. So before I flip that, I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let a few more bubbles formulate. But because the crowd wants it right now, the zoo animal subscribers want it right now, Boom! Let's go, baby. Subscribe. All right. Perfect. We're popping them off. We're doing something professional like this, like a restaurant would do. Done on the 